Welcome back to the channel. In this episode, I take you behind the scenes on one of my video shoots and we film all the behind the scenes using this, the iPhone 13 Pro Max. Now, I've always been a little bit behind the times. I was on the iPhone 8 before this one, would you believe? And the quality wasn't quite there. But with this, it's quite good. So you'll find out in this video if it is the one, if it's gonna be the go-to behind the scenes camera. Hey, if you're new here, please like, subscribe, comment. We'd love to see you get involved. Over the years, I've found it pretty difficult, to be honest, in using behind the scenes footage or getting someone to do it. Like you've got so much to worry about on a shoot, dealing with the client, lighting, filming, audio, that behind the scenes is just this extra headache that you don't really wanna deal with. Over the years, I've used GoPros, I've used the Canon GX7. If I've got an assistant, often they've got Sony Alpha cameras on gimbals, and we've had varying levels of success with all of them. On this shoot, you're gonna get a real behind the scenes insight into how we deal with the client, how we set the lights up, how we choose the location, and you'll see the whole behind the scenes experiment with this little guy. Big guy, actually, it's quite heavy. Keep hydrated. Let's rock and roll. This is my studio, by the way, which is unfinished as you can see, but we're getting there, we're getting there. But I've soundproofed it, as you can see. Um, <laughs> this soaks up a lot of sound, this soaks up a lot of sound, and that iPhone that this is being filmed on doesn't have any other microphone, so if you can hear me okay, then that's that's a win. Oh, I've got wood on that plan, actually, that reminds me. <laughs> Here you go, mate. This is filtered water, too. You're getting the best stuff today. It was supposed to be for me, but I'm giving it to you. There you go, good boy. <laughs> We're doing a little promo um, video today on a new cookbook that's coming out and that's you know what I love about my job is that every shoot is really different. Uh, you never know what you're going to do and every shoot has its challenges and uh, unique situations so we're walking into a kitchen Kirsty's presenting, she's going to be behind the counter. There's going to be some testimonials as well that we're going to film. And um, what we're looking for is just a nice, authentic, informative video about her new cookbook and what it involves. So that is my challenge to make sure we can capture that and um, capture the essence of Kirsty and her beautiful energy because she is a bright spark. She is a really lovely lady and, and we want that to come across. Now in this particular shoot, there wasn't you know, a whole lot of budget to do a recce and check out the location properly beforehand. The clients did send me some iPhone photos, so I had a little bit of an idea about the space, but it's really not until you walk into the space, start seeing all these little issues, and you start problem solving right away. So the first thing I wanna do is identify the first one, two, three spots that you can actually film in and that it's going to look great. You know, it might only be one spot depending on the location, but you have to identify, okay, this is the spot where it's going to look best. The next thing you have to do is prioritize what is the most important thing about this whole shoot. And for this one, I believed it was the head of the company, Kirsty, to be looking at her best and to be presenting in the best location we could identify. So that was close to the window, natural light, and a really nice white and light background, which really just worked with her brand and her story. Excellent. That looks that stunning, looks doesn't it? That looks beautiful, Kirst. Yeah. Yeah, that's cool. Is that too tight for you? No, I think that's fine. Yeah. Yeah, no, I think that's good. Like the lighting, everything, yeah. mm. Tom. Let's, so um, let's give it a go. I'm a bit worried if it yes, comes out from this too much. Do I need to put some more? It's You're asking the wrong person. Yeah. <laughs> I think yeah, I'll grab <laughs> <laughs> You're alright. It's looking great. Yeah. You look fantastic. Just... Nice big smile, big breath. Hi there, Kirsty from Cultured Wellness here, and I'm so excited to share with you that our next cookbook is on its way. The pre-order is out now, and this book is your absolute Bible when it comes to getting started on your fermenting journey and also how to ferment for being in ketosis. It's got all the basics. It's gonna provide that beautiful diversity in your gut, and it's gonna inspire you to add cultured foods into your life and to look after that beautiful gut microbiome of yours. So do not ask me what my favorite recipe is because I love them all so much. And I'm really looking forward to hearing from you what your favourite recipe is. So pre-order this incredible book now. Tom, oh, that looks yeah. amazing. Yeah, I love it. I love it. Oh, that is so 
And I love that framing too. It's like, yeah. it's like you're talking to someone. Yeah. And that's right there. After we ticked off Kirsty's location, her piece to camera, we had to find two other locations for two testimonials. Now that's a challenge in any given situation, but we had a very small space to work with, but we did identify two other locations where we could make that look different and make each testimonial look unique. One was the kitchen. So yeah, if you just dress up this space, yeah. uh, less is more, and we can move things around as we go. Okay, well, you can use my pan. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> I need the mug. Oh, yes. Energy. Classic, classic. As you can see, there's some challenges there right away. There's a reflective splashback. So what we did is have to change the angle up a little bit just so we couldn't see ourselves or anyone in the background. The other thing you've got to be really aware of is the sound. So when you're walking to these locations, often it'll be tiled, there'll be stone bench tops, and the acoustics are just way off. So what I did, I got super resourceful and I walked around the house and I got some pillows and doona covers and just laid them around the area out of shot so that the acoustics were back on point. Okay, looking and sounding great. Once you learn the basics of fermenting food, it's amazing what you can do from there. What I love about this cookbook is it's just so inspiring. The recipes are just so easy to follow. The basics are laid out step by step with photos so you can see what you're doing at every single stage. For the other testimonial, we wanted that relaxed, homely feel of a mum sitting on her couch talking about this wonderful new cookbook. The unfortunate thing was that it was quite dark in this part of the home, so we had to do a bit of a three point lighting setup, making sure we had some nice fill light, making sure there was some backlight and the stairs were quite dark and that was difficult to light up but we did throw some light in there too. Now it's Ash's first time on camera and of course people are going to be nervous if that's the case so I often reassure them that look it's not live TV, if you make a mistake we can do it again and just relax into it, there's no pressure to get it right straight away and that often works, that often relaxes people and they realise that they don't have to get it absolutely perfect the first time. No, okay, so that makes me feel better. Like I don't have to get it all out in one No, 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 no. no. Okay, the other thing I like to do, and it's usually for a sound test, is ask them where their favourite holiday destination is. It puts a smile on their face, they start to feel relaxed, and they're ready for the shoot. Holiday destinations. Oh, Morocco. Oh. <gasps> Easy. Why Morocco? It's fabulous. It's like a sit on a stage come to life. I love this cookbook. It's got so many great recipes in it. I personally love the basics, one of them being the yogurt, which I make often, and then I use that in so many different places. I've noticed a great difference in the calm nature of our family, and we're just a lot healthier. So back to this experiment. What did I like? Well, there were lots of positives. I love the image stabilization. It was really steady, it was handheld the whole time, but you could almost not tell. It looked like it was on a gimbal for some parts of it, which I was really impressed with. The other thing was the video quality. I think it's really good. I think it's fine for behind the scenes sort of type footage. So I was really happy with that. One of the negatives, audio. Like any camera, if you're just using external mic that's on the camera itself, it's not gonna be amazing. It wasn't terrible, but it wasn't amazing. So I think we could really improve there. And by doing that, you just get the Rode Wireless Go setup. And all you need there is the Apple headphone jack and a TRRS cable. And then you've got a really pretty lightweight setup that's going to be capturing really high quality audio. So look, I think the positives outweigh the negatives. I think this is a really good behind the scenes camera. The vision's amazing and I think it can be used more often and easily watched. So I hope this video was great. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you got some real insight into what happens on a video shoot. And if you did, please like, subscribe, comment, get involved. I'd love to hear your feedback and I will look forward to seeing you in the next video.